Welcome to another of Creative Block's Two Minute Tool Schools. In this lesson we're going to be looking at Photoshop and specifically the Quick Selection Tool. Now you can find the Quick Selection Tool in the Tools panel over here alongside the Magic Wand Tool. And it works by allowing you to paint a selection. But the tool is quite clever because it will snap onto edge details as you paint. So if I start to paint around the model here you can see how we can very quickly get a quite accurate selection of her outline. And because it's a brush based tool you can use the square bracket keys on your keyboard to resize your brush tip. The right square bracket key will make your brush tip larger and the left square bracket key will make your brush tip smaller. You also have a couple of useful settings up here in the options bar that allow you to sample all layers which can be useful when you're working on a multi-layer document and also auto enhance which will give you a finer edge and that works particularly well when you have areas of fuzzy detail like the edges of hair. Now by default the tool is set to add to selection you can see this icon here is checked which means that as we paint we can add more areas to our selection but if we want to subtract areas we can check the subtract from selection icon up here but a much easier way to subtract areas is simply to hold alt so if I just continue painting around the figure here and you can see if I accidentally paint over a section of the background that I don't want I can simply hold alt and then paint to subtract that area from my selection and the tool is quite clever because as you continue painting to add or subtract areas it will figure out which tones you're after and actually snap onto those so as I paint the tool will kind of get cleverer and decide that I don't want this creamy tone in the background. So you can see it's very quick and easy to get an accurate cut out of the model simply by painting very roughly over her and then we can hold alt and paint to subtract areas like under the arms here until our selection is complete. And notice that if we have auto enhance checked up here then the tool may take a few seconds to seek out those edge details. But once our selection is complete and we've isolated our figure or object then we can of course make any changes we like. So for example I could change the colour of the background here by inverting the selection then adding a hue saturation adjustment there and just changing the hue like that. So there we go, that's how to make quick, precise, easy selections with the quick selection tool.